Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about the many things one can do with this tiny little device. It's the OBD Link MX Plus. Now this video is sponsored by OBD Solutions which is the company that makes this device. So of course I'm going to say great things about it, right? Well here's the thing. I've been using their products for years. In fact I've recommended them in dozens of my video descriptions. I've bought them with my own money uh, and if you've ever seen a data overlay in any of my videos, it was using an OBD Solutions device in order to do it. So when they reached out and said, hey Jason, we want to sponsor a video on your channel. To me it was a no-brainer because I use these things all the time. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how useful these devices really are and what capabilities this OBD Link MX Plus has. We'll start off very simple looking at scanning trouble codes, but then we'll get into some of the other really impressive features you can use with this, like monitoring engine parameters, using it for digital gauges, measuring fuel economy, creating data overlays for video, trip logging with maps and speed overlays, and finally some performance tools. Starting off, diagnostics. That's the bread and butter of these devices, and there's a lot of devices out there that can do this, but we'll get into some of the unique advantages of this particular device throughout the video. To start off, we plug the tool into the OBD2 port, we'll connect to the device via Bluetooth, open the app, and connect to the device through the app. So starting off with diagnostics in the top right corner, we can go to the report and see that no trouble codes were detected. But this is a 2016 Crosstrek that's still under warranty, so that's not really all that surprising to see. Now aside from reading trouble codes, which gives you insight into potential problems, there's quite a bit more you can do here in diagnostics. If you hit monitor tests, you'll get a list of various tests the tool is capable of performing on your specific vehicle, and from there, whether or not your car passes those tests. This is particularly useful if you're about to bring your car in for an emissions check. You can see here whether or not it will have any issues that would cause it to fail. For example, with this vehicle it's able to see if the engine is misfiring, if the fuel system is working correctly, as well as your O2 sensors. If a test is not available, you'll see a red X, so you won't be able to run that test. This often comes down to the specific car, the car may not have the hardware required, or the test may not actually be applicable to your vehicle. Now, within the diagnostics section, if you hit PID values at the bottom, this gives you a list of several of the key engine metrics which are quite useful to know. For example, at the top we have engine coolant temperature. Believe it or not, the Crosstrek doesn't provide coolant temperature to the driver. Just a little logo that lets you know if the engine is cold or too hot. We also have engine oil temperature, which many vehicles do not display. So in situations like when you're towing, track driving, or off-roading, these are super useful data points to know to make sure everything is running at operating temperature. You can see other metrics as well, like timing advance for cylinder number one. This can be useful, especially for modified vehicles, to see if your ignition timing is backing off to prevent knock. Or looking at mass airflow rate to see if certain engine modifications are actually allowing for more airflow. So if you hit report at the bottom, you'll see PID snapshot, and you can see there are 44 of these values which are available to view on my Crosstrek, so access to quite a bit of information. Which leads us to digital gauges. Now, while you're driving, if you have dashboard selected, this will pull up a series of digital gauges which you can use to monitor your vehicle in real time. And this actually highlights one of the major advantages of this device, as it has a very high sampling rate and is able to display a lot of information very quickly. So while some of the other lower cost OBD readers might be able to read 5 or 6 pieces of information in a second, this can take 100 samples in a second. The result is that you get very fluid displays with instant, accurate information. And you can display numerous gauges without worrying about the scan tool not being able to keep up with the amount of data being transmitted. Now, the standard display here is showing vehicle speed and engine RPM, engine temperature, mass airflow reading, fuel rate, and battery voltage. However, these dashboards are completely customizable, and you can create various pages of different displays. So for example, if you wanted to add a parameter, you can select menu, add display, choose between a radial or a digital gauge, then pick the style of the gauge, and then select the parameter you would like to monitor. In this case, we'll add engine coolant temperature beside our engine oil temperature gauge. 
So ultimately, this is one of my favorite things about the device, because it's so easy to get digital gauges for so many different parameters. As cool as it is to have physical gauges installed on your car, they tend to be fairly expensive, and it of course requires the time and work to install them. This is super fast to set up, costs 80 bucks, and you can display all kinds of different information and change it whenever you like. It also means you don't have to do any cutting or irreversible changes to your car's dash, and it can be a wonderful tool to use for monitoring a modified vehicle. It's also useful for measuring fuel economy. Many modern cars come with fuel economy displays, but for older cars this isn't always the case. So for example here with my S2000, I can get the fuel flow rate, an instant fuel economy readout, and an overall average of my fuel economy. This is excellent for road trips or for monitoring your driving habits to see how to improve your fuel efficiency. As it turns out, flooring it in a supercharged S2000 doesn't result in amazing fuel economy. I was as shocked and as disappointed as you likely are. Now, one of the things I really like doing with my S2000 videos is to include a data overlay on the screen, and so I'm going to show you how exactly I do this using the OBD Link MX Plus. I'm using a Garmin Verb Ultra camera, plugging in the scan tool, and then connecting it via Bluetooth to the Garmin camera. Once it's connected, it's already programmed to record all of the information, so you simply place the camera where you'd like, and then hit record. Then using Verb Edit, which is free software to download, you import the camera's footage. Once you have the footage into the editor, you can select which parameters you would like to have displayed on screen, as well as the style of how the gauges are displayed. Using my S2000 as an example, you can see digital displays for vehicle speed and engine RPM, as well as throttle position, intake air temperature, engine load, and engine coolant temperature. And you can rearrange these gauges however you'd like, as well as change the color scheme. You may have seen something similar done with Chevy's Performance Data Recorder, an option that costs about $1,800 to record video with speed and data overlays with an onboard camera on Corvettes and Camaros. With a $400 Garmin camera and an $80 scan tool, you can essentially do the same thing with nearly any vehicle and with 4K video resolution rather than 720p like on the Corvette. The OBD Link app can also link up with maps for trip logging. So if you're driving with the scan tool, you can record your drives in maps with a speed overlay. If you were driving on a track, you could use this map functionality to monitor your speeds at various locations. With these recorded trips, you can also see how much fuel was used and what your average MPG was. And while you're recording a trip, you can have a graph display various parameters over time. So here you can see as I'm driving, I have a graph displayed of my engine RPM, throttle position, and engine coolant temperature with respect to time. This illustrates another advantage of the device, as displaying this much information continuously requires a large amount of data exchange between the device and my phone to occur very quickly. So, for my automotive tech geeks out there, the amount of power and data that this device can provide a driver is pretty incredible, which is why I've been so impressed by it. Being able to monitor things like coolant and oil temperature, which I previously didn't have access to, is great for peace of mind while traveling and ensuring everything is running as it should. Now here's where I say something cliche like, but wait, hold on right there, there's still more. So you also have performance tools so you can record things like zero to 60 times or quarter mile times. And I know everyone would probably prefer to see this done with my S2000, but instead I've decided to show you just how impressive Subaru's Crosstrek with manual transmission can be. So the test is set up, from a dead stop, here we go. 10, 20, 30 miles per hour. And a few days later, the Crosstrek has, yes, hit 60 miles per hour. Quite impressive. So how do you know if this device will work with your specific car? Well, the company lists all of the vehicles it's compatible with on their website, and one thing you may find interesting is that Subarus and Hondas only have generic parameters available to view, meaning everything you've seen in this video has been done on a vehicle with limited access, and I still find the device quite useful. On cars like Ford, Nissan, Mazda, Toyota, and a healthy list of other brands, there's even more parameters and information which the device will have access to. I'll include a link for compatibility in the video description if you'd like to check for your own car and whether or not you'd have enhanced vehicle coverage. 
The device works all over the world depending on the year and make of your vehicle, and it also works on both Android and Apple devices. So that was a ton of information, and really it's just a quick overview of what's possible with these kind of devices. Uh, it's very powerful, you know, I get friends calling me all the time and they're like, Yo, Jason, something's going on with my car. I can't figure it out. And so I'll just drive over to their place. I'll plug one of these things in and we'll figure out what's going on, what needs to be fixed. Uh, super powerful, very useful tools. So I will include a link to it in the video description. A big thanks to OBD Solutions for sponsoring the video. And thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, of course, feel free to leave those below.